What is the crack, lads? And welcome back to another player pack review. It's absolutely freezing here. So hopefully we can get this video done without growing some icicles on the end of our nose or something. I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, we've got a lot of new packs today, lads. As you can see that they dropped them last night. So we've got England and Germany in and we've also got Japan and Uruguay player selections that we're going to get to as well. So 900 coins for this England pack. That is the pack we are going to be reviewing today. There are a couple of hidden gems in here, lads, definitely. Not not hidden gems, so to speak, but guys that you might look at and think like, yeah, I'm not going to buy this pack for Kane. I, I don't really think, you know, Trent is, is worth it. But yeah, trust me, there are some really nice players in this. Is it worth 900 coins? You know, that's up to you guys, as I always say. Is it worth getting these players above the standard, guys? Again, that's up to you guys, you know. Uh, it's, it's a completely uh, uh, optional decision for you guys to do because... You know, you can still get the standard versions of these players and be absolute beastly with them. You know, they're not going to they're not going to change your team overnight or turn you into a, a top five player in the world. You know, well, at least with me anyway. But anyway, we are going to go into it. We are going to go over to eFootballDB in a, in a minute just as we rotate through these players. But yeah, there's some very nice selections in here, lads. We'll start with Mason Mount, right? Mason Mount is kind of, yeah, he's kind of been one of these guys that has had a couple of fairly decent cards. Uh, I would say that he's probably like, I wouldn't say that he's like an underrated player uh, because I know that a lot of the top rated guys were using him and they were using uh, the version of him that was, what version of him was it? I think it was this version here, uh, the player of the week version of him. And you can see there that he's got incredible stats. He goes up to a 94 overall. Um, and this guy, Mason Mount, obviously is going to have 20 levels as well. So he's going to be a similar kind of progression to that card or to his standard card. His standard card is obviously an 81 overall. But then we have had, you know, different versions of him throughout as well. We've had, you know... Um, We've had, you know, different versions that were in, that were available with certain packs that were that were there. Um, and there's just been a lot of versions of him. I think this is his sixth card. So, yeah, he's on D rating. But again, he's he's his stats like don't really tell the full picture of how he plays. I haven't played with him enough to, to say if he's an absolute, you know, beast of a player compared to other players. I look for very simple things in my players. Like if it's a DMF, I want him to have high defensive awareness and defensive uh, stats such as tackling and uh, either speed or acceleration that's able to get around the pitch and just cause, you know, mayhem. Or else if it's a CMF, if I want to, I just want a box to box guy, like an all rounder with 80s in every stat. You know, he doesn't need to be an excellent passer, doesn't need to be an excellent um, defender, doesn't need to be an excellent attacker, uh, just needs to be solid all around. And I think that Mason Mount just falls a little bit short of that um, with his stats, just, just a small bit because, you know, his ball control and all that isn't too bad. Um, but the rest of his stats are very, very average. I just think that there are better players on the market than him. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. And in fact, there's going to be two guys on this, uh, selection that I think are better than him. So yeah, we will move on from Mount. Obviously he's still a very, very good player. And Harry Maguire, let's look again, Harry Maguire, 55 acceleration. I mean, even if he had 40 progression points, you're not going to, you're not going to get that up. And his form is inconsistent as well on this card as now, look, he does have interception and blocker, which is always the most important for defense. I'm still needing to do the video on that. As I might try and do it today. I've just been really busy, uh, with other stuff and other videos as you guys probably are aware but yeah defensive awareness tackling aggression all fairly decent but you're not going to be able to boost up that speed and acceleration and a lot of people ask what's my obsession sometimes with speed and acceleration it's just it just i like a base stat for people like um, for players and harry Maguire is one of the biggest players in the game to handle you know he handles like a truck right so you need to have uh, be able to boost up his acceleration you need to be able to have his speed a little higher than his base card is and I just think that if you are going to be using a player like him in your game, there's so many better alternatives out there that are, you know, quite cheap. So, yeah, I would definitely not be buying this pack for, for Harry Maguire. Similarly with Stones, then you're getting a good, really good tackler with Stones. Like, he's very, very good in the in the air as well, even though he's not the tallest. Uh, he is very, very good height for a defender, uh, such as, you know, obviously Van Dyke is going to be in around this ballpark as well with the speed and the acceleration. He kind of compares quite quite good to him. Uh, Varane is obviously another option as well, just a bit pacier. But yeah, Stones, he's got nice stats. He's got standard form again. 
He doesn't have blocker, which is a pity on this card, and he doesn't have that many player skills. So the one thing I like about Stones is the way that things have gone at the moment with the way that the players handle and stuff. Like tight possession is a very important stat. You're going to see that when I'm training up some of the players today over on eFootballDB, which we'll get to in a second. Pickford, look, I never really pay too much attention to a goalkeeper unless they're like one of the top five or six goalkeepers in the game. 84 reflexes you're going to be able to get that into the mid 90s depending on how you train him up if you want to just pump in everything there i think the sweet spot for the reflexes is a 92 anything under that i think it's not it's not you know meta or it's not overpowered uh, i think the reflexes you know that's the most important stat now he does have um he does have low punt and penalty saver which is nice but yeah again he's just a very very kind of common goalkeeper uh, we will focus on Trent in a second, and yeah, Phillips is the last one then that we won't be looking at uh, in depth, but he's a very good player, man. You kind of get what you're getting here with him. He, does, he doesn't he does have a blocker, but he does have interception. He has unwavering form, which is quite nice. One-touch pass is always nice. His tackling and aggression go really high. They go into the 90s. His speed and acceleration... Depending on how you want to train him up, right? I, I'm going to show you Declan Rice because there's a very similar situation happening with Ricey um, here. I don't know why I called him Ricey as if I know him, as if he lives down next door to me. But there is a very similar situation between Phillips and Rice because if you are having an anchorman, you have to make the decision as a DMF, if you're playing a DMF, whether you want him to be a good passer or you want him to just be an absolute kind of like blocker and a stopper, such as how I use Makalele. Like Makalele... I I don't need to focus too much when I get the ball at Makalele on passing or ripping through with a lovely pass like De Bruyne would do or Tonali would do or somebody like that, like Pirlo, uh, because he's just a pure brute fo force stopper. So we will... Phillips and Declan Rice are very similar players in this. They have very similar stats with how we've trained them. So, yeah. Um, so no, I did there, lad, sorry. But speaking of which, yeah, we are over with Declan Rice here, right? And this will show you very easily, okay? So we have boosted up... Declan Rice's stats to the max here. He's got interception, he's got man marking, he's got sliding tackle, he's got weighted pass, fighting spirit, captaincy, long ranger. He's got a lot of nice player skills and AIs. And again, you can see the beautiful stats he has here for a DMF player. Now, if we want to focus on a DMF as a pure defensive stopper, we're going to probably put about 10 into his defense here and 10 into his dexterity to get that up, get his balance up, get his offensive awareness up so that he's getting into those positions that he's not just staying at the back unless you've got anchoring on that he is getting forward the odd time if you don't want that to happen like you could potentially just have him sitting in the pocket kind of like makalele style and you could boost up his stats a lot better here if you wanted to you could take away if you wanted him a pure defensive juggernaut you could put two more into that and you're going to be getting 94 engagement 91 tackling you've still got enough speed and acceleration to get around the pitch when he does get the ball he's got all the tight possession and passing stats that you possibly could need physical contact is really good stamina is excellent now if you wanted to go the opposite route right we could talk about this where you take away maybe five or six of his defending and you put it into passing to bring up his passing a little bit that means that you can just sit in the pocket you don't need to be as fast or aggressive when you have the ball you can just sit in the pocket and you can just chill out and then you can pretty much just be an on-ball DMF. So there's two ways of training him. You're still getting your defensive engagement up high because he's got insane stats defensively, but you're also boosting up his low pass and lofted pass, which means that you can kind of spray those balls around the place. So it's just something for you guys to think about. Obviously, his playing style is not anchorman. Phillips is, but his is the destroyer. But to me, that doesn't really make too much of a difference depending on how you play in your own play style, right? So that doesn't really make a massive difference to me, um, in my opinion. So with Phillips and him you do need to make a decision they both have very similar stats with their defensive engagement and stuff like that I would say that Rice is definitely the better option there because of his levels that he can go up um but if you're getting the two of them all the better and then obviously we will talk about the rest of the boys as well such as Trent we'll go back to him now uh so Trent obviously is having a tough season <coughs> excuse me with Liverpool unwavering form B rating I think he's going to be worth it man he's he ha obviously had the the card, which was the legend card that went to 28 levels. So this is kind of a similar card to that one 
in terms of the stats if you look here so he he does have everything that you could possibly want for a right back if you are going to be playing crosses in you need to be playing somebody like Trent that has early cross and pinpoint crossing true passing as well is always nice I would have liked to have seen a couple of other player skills obviously this is the other version of his card here that was 28 levels he started at a 20 uh, or an 84 overall but this card does go up very high and you can train him in a multitude of ways these cards are very, very balanced that you can train them in different ways. You can train them very defensively. You can train them to be a bit better on the ball or better passers. The thing I like about Trent is that you don't need to actually train up his passing at all. Like if you've got low pass over 80, that is definitely enough unless you're, you know, an AMF or a center midfielder looking to break through the ranks um, and link, you know, defense and attack. So I definitely think he's he's one of the guys to have in this i would have liked to have seen a little bit more defensive awareness but i know obviously he's not really the best defensive right back we've also got sterling lads maxed out at a 93 here with how we've leveled him up the biggest issue with sterling where you need to put most of your progression points is 12 into dribbling now look you could change that a little if you don't want to be boosting that much and you just want to focus on speed i mean you could take two away from there very easily and put two into acceleration have 96 acceleration and 94 balance but i i genuinely do feel if you are playing as a winger again it depends on your play style as i keep repeating this it depends on your play style i prefer to have dribbling stats a little higher with my dribblers my main role with a dribbler is to get the ball onto the wing or get the ball into tight areas and be able to beat the man to me, I don't play centrally. So to me, unless I'm using my wingers as proper, proper old school wingers like Georgie Best style, you know, get the ball on the wing, take on the man. If not, return and just give the pass back and switch it around to the other wing and see what's happening in the other corner or the other side of the pitch. I think that Sterling is very decent. His acceleration is huge. You don't need to train up, train that up too much. The only reason that we'd probably put that up the dexterity at all is to get it up to 92 is to get the balance to 90 and the 85 defensive awareness but the rest you could pump into dribbling you're getting it up to 90 ball control and 89 dribbling because if not you're going to have this back down here trust me that tight possession 80 is too small for me for a winger it's too it's too low trust me like you'd probably get away with that 11 and then you could put the rest in if you wanted to tell you could put one in there one in there or two in there and then you'd have one left over maybe for shooting if you wanted but his shooting isn't going to ever be high anyway so there's no real point in my opinion but that's how i would train him up with that um that would be the best way of, of possibly doing it we've also got foden so foden is a very similar kind of player to him what lets him down compared to Sterling's card is his speed, but then he's got better dribbling. You only need to put five into dribbling and you need to put 10 into acceleration. Now, we could, again, do this here. We could put that there and have a bit more balance, but yeah, acceleration is is vital if you are playing as a winger. Like, if you're playing... Now, this guy is on A form, Foden. Um, it'll be interesting to see if he comes on today. I don't think he's starting for England in the first game. I definitely would have started him, but... He doesn't have an amazing amount of player skills, which is a bit of a pity because I would have liked to seen him with a couple of those player skills if he was going to be. Um, he does have a few more there, obviously on this card that he needs to that we need to update the, the the DB with. But other than that, I mean, he does have one touch pass that they've added to this card, which is very good as well. Um, so I'd be happy enough to get him and actually train him up max and just be an absolute monster on the wing. Bellingham, we've also got Bellingham here, as you can see, uh, over on eFootballDB, and we have got an absolute beast of a player, 95 CMF, 10 into dexterity, 4 into dribbling and aerial strength, 8 into defending and lower body strength and passing, and you've got an all-round absolute monster here, lads, absolute monster, one of the best standard cards in the game, as is, and this card looks to be insane, like he's got really nice player skills, uh, he's got unwavering form he is on c form this week with the player update but that should change if he does start to have a good season and you can just train him up whatever way you want do you need 82 acceleration you don't do you need 87 pace you don't like you don't really lads 80 and 85 would probably be enough depending on how you want him to, to, to play like if you're playing him as like a box to box type player that's going to be getting up and down the pitch i would definitely focus on the defensive side of the game I'd probably put that to 10 to get his tackling up as high as it could possibly go. And then I would probably have one on tackling. That's our one on passing to get that low pass up to 85. That's what I would personally do. But if you are looking to play offensively, 
I would probably have enough in tackling at like maybe 82. Give four points into that, four into aerial strength. And then I would probably boost up his speed a little bit or his dexterity up a little bit more, maybe 10 points, 82. And then I would focus on the dribbling to get that up to 80. And I would probably focus on the passing a little bit to bring it up. You're still going to get a 95 rated player. But yeah, very, very good player. I think that could that could do it for you. Um, so yeah, it's definitely one that you could you could look at. And then we have Sterling. Sterling is 94 acceleration, 91 speed. His dribbling is quite high. His low pass probably lets him down most of all. His 75 low pass. But that's enough if you are... Look, as I said, lads, and I keep saying it, if you are looking for a winger, you do need to just have speed and dribbling. And you need to get good at doing that. 94 acceleration, 92 balance, 88 ball control, 87 dribbling, 91 speed. That's definitely more than enough. He's definitely one of the picks of the 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 pack here and last but not least we have harry kane who's on a form today so he's a very interesting choice lads definitely he doesn't have that many progression points or levels to train up but he is on a form which is huge this week if you are looking to have a striker that's different than the norm such as Lewandowski or uh killing mbappe or somebody like that 90 finishing 90 offensive awareness 92 kick and power his acceleration lets him down massively there if you want to have him as a running gun, you're not going to be able and you can't really do anything about it. Like even if we were to just take away all his points here and put him into ex- acceleration to get that up because the rest of his stats are quite high. Like you're going to be talking about only getting it up to 74 with no other stats. Like I just don't think it's worth it. Even bringing it up to 70 and then having his shooting at like 90 and his aerial strength at like 80 you're not really going to change the dial too much on this card. I definitely wouldn't train him that way. I don't think that his speed is 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 going to be that important to him. I'd probably put four into that. I'd probably put get him up to 75 speed. And then we're talking about just putting the, the dribbling up a small bit maybe there. And maybe the passing just up one. And then you're f- talking about like finishing off with the shooting at 92. You don't really need the shooting at 92 too much. But you could do the aerial strength one. And then you could have another speed. Or you could have another dexterity. Or whatever way you wanted to do it. There is a lot of options with him. A lot of ways to train the cards. So that is it lads. Let me know if you guys are going to actually be interested in this pack. I think that yeah. If I was to rate it. I would say that it's a fairly decent pack. Um, I would say that Sterling. Uh, Rice. Foden, Bellingham and Trent are definitely worth it if you don't have them. But in terms of the rest of the players, I think they are very, they are very like the standard versions of them would suffice if you wanted to train them up. Um, and also on top of that then as well, there is the, 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 the German pack, which we'll get to that looks to be a little bit more bang for your buck. But we will, we will see what happens. Let me know what you guys think of this. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. It's a very lengthy video, but I will talk to you later. Peace.